Hello and welcome. It's Jilly, Jilly Cube here. I am working on a 50 by, uh, I think it's 50 by 45 canvas. And I'm going to kind of use this bowl as a template that I want my colour in the centre of this bowl area and I want to do something around the outside. What I'm doing is I'm just using it as a as a guide. So this is an acrylic pen, so it's a gold one. So the acrylic be, being so it's acrylic, it'll just mould into the rest of the colours. So it won't actually show where I've used it. So that's that's my um, plan anyway. Let's hope it all goes to plan. Which, it never usually does, so we will see. Anyway, right here. Here we go. So I'm going to just put a bit of, um, really wanted to use something, pop your socks off bright. So I think I'm gonna use this hot pink around the, um, around my circle. I haven't put my gloves on. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, it's a little bit of something. So I want to use the hot pink and I'll, I'll use to um, spread it out with my offset spatula, which I'll find the easiest. So, so what about hot colour is this? Might be nice for um, the pink ladies. Ladies that just love pinks and hot pinks. This is definitely the colour for you. It's a really pop your socks off. I just, it's a, it's a rainy, miserable day here. So I really wanted to come into my art room and do something that was bright and cheerful. Uh, hence the hot pink. <laughs> it is a hot pink too, isn't it? You can still make hot pinks look classy, so I believe. Um, it does look very candy-ish, I must, candy colour. So we just go with the flow, as they say, and see what we can get out of this. I'm not too worried about going over my edges at this point in time because um, I may be blowing paint over the edges. But I'm going to use my little mini blower the world's smallest blow dryer. I'm going to be using one of these. So the link to these is in the drop down box. You'll find them at um, Capriol Shabby Chic and I think I've got them on my Amazon store too. So let's hope this one turns out just wanted to do a yeah, different composition, nice, bright, cheerful colours. Rightio, let's get to it. What do you think I should be putting in with the pink? I'm going to put this cool blue. I'm going to just literally do me wiggles. Wiggle it around in there. I'm going to try not to go too overboard with too much paint today. Usually the canvas does absorb the paint if you do go a bit crazy like I tend to. Rightio, blue, blue, blue. What else should I put? I mean, I might put some turquoise in there. Just again, I'm gonna do the wiggles around it. Beautiful. I'll go for gold. I've got the champagne gold, which is 50% gold and 50% silk metallic silver. It makes this lovely champagne gold colour. Champignon. That's that. I think I'm going to add some of my darker purple in there. See. It's not going to come out, is it? Let's see. Hopefully, it's not too thin. Oh. 
Rightio. And the only colour I think I'll add to that is this, is some white. Just give it a squirt of white in there. I think we've got enough going on. So. I might use the, this is um, the black acrylic paint mixed with Australian flowchart, Floetrol only. And um, it helps create, the reason put this in is it helps create some really nice lacy cells. So first of all, I'll give it a hit with the heat gun and the blow dryer are completely different things. This won't blow it, it'll just put heat on it to burst any air bubbles. Um. Rightio. Now I'll try and blow out some of that with my mini blower. Okay. It's not really blowing it. No, that's, maybe I've got the paint a bit thick. It's not really doing what I want to do. So I'll bring in my Baby Bayliss, that's what that is. Flip. Wow, lovely. despair because I've got a bit more planned for this. Now finish this off with, actually I could do with a balloon blown up quite large. I've got my smaller one, but I think it needs a really big balloon in there. I wish I'd got a big ball or something to try. That would be a plan, wouldn't it? That's got a hole in it. A hole in one. Oh my goodness. All the gear and no idea. Come on, Jilly. Oh, I'm going dizzy. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit better. Silly Billy. Silly Billy. Okie doke. I think the blowing up the air's got to me. Let's give this a go. Nice big balloon. Kiss. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty. It's, you could very well use the paint off that balloon to put straight onto another piece, another canvas, or transfer onto something else, if you so wished. I'm just gonna try and create some movement by doing the rolls in the towards the center. So I've got that nice blown out effect on the outside and then my rolls coming in. I've got plenty of rolls, that's for sure. Right. 
videos. Wow. Let's leave that one at that. Let's try the smaller one now in the centre. That needs a little bit of pink in the centre of my balloon kiss. Let's try it. Didn't leave, leave that much there, but that's, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I think that with a coat of varnish or um, resin on, I'll really make it pop. So I'll just finish off my edges and I may use just a skewer to actually define a few of the areas with the skewer so it breaks it up a bit you don't have to remember it's all personal it's whatever you feel you want to do with your art you just take some of the ideas that you get from the youtube videos and um, make them your own you don't have to copy exactly gonna bring you down that really pops with that hot pink background it's really quite beautiful I'll bring you down so here we go there's not too much cells in this one just a few little areas which is quite nice because it's got all a lot going on the other effects in here so got some really beautiful areas for sure and um, like it really pops off that canvas it almost looks as though it's floating there so I'm really happy with that and it was really fun to do I mean definitely give it a go putting those extra balloon and the swirls look gives it lots of movement so very happy with that one I hope you guys like it something different again a different composition for you to try until tomorrow my lovelies please take care Remember, if you're feeling sad, lonely, or you just need to talk to someone, please ring a family member or a friend, or if not a helpline, always someone there to help. So take care of you. Okie doke, bye for now.